<clears throat> Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brad and I just wanted to show you a little bit of what my day actually looks like day to day when I'm, <clears throat> you know, I'm making sales, I'm doing business, I'm really focused and I'm really pushing things forward in my business. A lot of guys are very confused as to what this actually looks like and it's fairly simple. You know, it's fairly, you know, I, I like to say like things are simple but they're not easy. So what I do when I'm having a kick-ass day and I'm really just crushing my work is <clears throat> usually the first thing I do is to sit down and I write out, you know, I write out all my current clients, I write out, you know, my finances, I write out my goals, I write out, you know, my intention, I just write for a little bit. And, you know, I have tons of different notebooks just like this where I'll just sit down and I'll get all my thoughts out and I'll write my to-do list and Basically, what I'll do is, you know, I'll either go into my autopilot things uh, like prospecting, making videos like this for marketing or, um, you know, some other task that needs to be uh, fired out right, right then and there first thing in the morning. But usually, you know, if we're going to be honest, usually the first thing that I do is I begin prospecting. I start my day off with prospecting because that's, you know, that's some of the, the it can be the most emotionally difficult thing to do as an entrepreneur is going and reaching out to other people and speaking to them uh, and opening up new conversations. It's like approaching. It's like cold approach. You know, the hardest part is just beginning and actually starting to approach girls and have conversations with them and seeing where it leads. That's, you know, that's the hardest part. Usually it's not the, it's not later once you get into your flow, it's actually just starting it. So usually that's the first thing I do. Then from there, and I'll probably send out, you know, anywhere, the, the least I'll ever send out on a daily basis is about 100 messages to people to just connect with them. And, you know, when I send out messages, I don't, I don't sell immediately. I just go and I connect with people, I ask them about themselves, and we'll see, you know, if there's, some, if there's a, a fit. That's the best way to sell. It's the way it's been done forever, and that's the way it'll always be. So um, that's the first thing. Second thing is usually, you know, I'll have calls with clients or I'll have uh, people that will want to get up on the phone and maybe sign up. And, you know, I'm going to do those calls and I'm going to bang them out. I'm going to make sure my clients are satisfied. I'm going to make sure that, you know, I'm delivering, I'm over delivering for them. And I'm going to make sure that I get on the phone with every prospect that wants to speak to me today. So. You know, I'll go through my phone, which has a lot of contacts built up over the years. I'll go through LinkedIn. I'll go through Facebook. I'll go through Reddit. I'll go through all these different sources to begin finding people that might be a fit for my service. And, you know, I will sit there and I will do this for 12 to 14 hours if I'm having a great day. And that's, and that really is what it is. I mean, it's, it's just, it's that simple. It's sitting there and doing the work for a extended period of time, day after day, and that's what makes you successful. And another part of the day will obviously be, I'm building out all my thoughts into a product so that I no longer have to do one-on-one -on -one or group coaching where I can just put everything I know that is getting me and my clients results into a product, you know, based on proof, based on actually doing this stuff. Can put it into a product and then I can begin selling the product, but I have to actually make the product. So that's part of my day too, you know, to set myself eventually free from continuously doing this. Another part of my day might be, you know, working on my ads or my webinar or my funnel or, you know, different things in the business that every business needs. You know, that's, it's the truth. Every single business is, is basically the same thing. I mean, you, you have different parts of business that are exactly the same thing. Now, another part of my day would be working out. I have a pull-up bar in my room. I have some weights. I have, uh, you know, my body weight. I just do push-ups, squats, sit-ups, all that stuff. And, you know, I'll go for a run. I'll do something like that. And then at the end of the night, I'm either seeing a girl or I'm going out and I'm, I'm doing cold approach. Um, and that's it. Part of my day also, I, I do my hobby. I play music. But, you know, for most of my day, you know, when I'm having a great day, what I'm doing is I'm doing stuff that's going to move the ball forward. You know, any moment that I'm spending working on the business, the business is moving forward. You know, any moment that I'm spending <laughs> fucking watching cat videos on YouTube, which admittedly I've been doing a little too much of, uh, <laughs> you know, the business is moving backwards. So, you know, my life is moving backwards when I'm doing that. So that's basically how I think of it. I think of it very simply. If I'm putting in work, 
it's moving the thing forward. If I'm, you know, or I'm learning or I'm making a mistake, but I'm learning about it and I'm getting better at, at, at seeing, you know, what I should focus on and what I should not focus on, which is important. But what I found with most people is that most people don't have the capacity to just sit down in a room and sit there alone, quiet with nobody there and just work on one fucking thing for hours and hours, day after day, 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 after day. You know what I'm saying? It's, um, it's brutal, man. It's not easy. It's not fucking easy. And that's why I don't recommend being an entrepreneur to everybody because you think, oh, it's going to be easy. I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to be Paul, Logan Paul. I'm going to go and make a video of me, you know, walking through the suicide forest and get a billion dollars. I'm going to get some butt implants and make a million dollars. The reality is, is that that's probably not you, you know, and, uh, you know, you, you really don't know how much money these guys really have and from what, you know, and how sustainable it is. And a lot of, a lot of people will make money very quickly on something, but then, you know, when that thing goes away, you know, they, they can't rebuild the business because they don't understand business. You know, they don't understand sales. They don't understand marketing. They don't understand building a product and delivering. They don't understand discipline. So, uh, you know, I mean, I've had, you know, some, some pretty nice success, I'm certainly not a millionaire yet, but, uh, you know, it, success is very fleeting. So, you know, the thing that will sustain success is discipline and doing the right things every day. Do the right things every day for most of your day, you'll be successful in time, you know, provided you don't totally fuck your life up in some way. Uh, that's the truth. All right, guys, that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any questions specifically about entrepreneurship and business, feel free to ask. I'm an open book. I like to talk about this stuff. I like to help people. And that's about it. Peace.